Hey guys, Tony here, CCXRC. Welcome to my garage and to my first impressions about the Traxxas X Max. Now I'm doing this because I've had a lot of questions about it, people asking what my uh, impression of was it. And so I listen to the comments, questions, and I try to answer them in my videos. And so that's what this is for. Uh, I've had it for about a week and I've taken it out for a couple videos that are up on YouTube. I did the unboxing, I did kind of like a fake first run or just a test kind of first run where I kept it slow. Uh, wasn't trying to really see what it could do. I was just trying to get a little bit of run on it, um, kind of break it in a little bit before I really took it out and bashed it. Then we got snow and rain and so the first real heavy run was a mud bash and it's a lot of fun. Uh, so you should check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But I've also done some other runs with it in uh, parking lots and streets and in the grass and in fields and uh, I was just having fun with it so I wasn't filming and uh, because I had very short amounts of time. Anyway, that said, I wanted to give you guys my first impressions about the Traxxas X Max. And uh, when I got into RC, and so those of you that don't know me or this channel very well, maybe this is the first video you're watching because you're interested in the X Max. I've been into the hobby for about three, four years now, and it all started with another Traxxas vehicle, a two wheel drive Stampede Gravedigger. And this vehicle is still one of my favorites. Uh, again, it's two wheel drive. This thing has been beaten, abused. Uh, and it just keeps on running. The only thing that I've actually had issues with uh, was the uh, servo. And so I had to put in a new servo and I've snapped the servo savers a couple of times. Uh, I did some upgrades and some had some broken other parts, but that's from like hitting curbs and going too big with it. Uh, very durable vehicle, still one of my favorites to run. I absolutely love that truck. And actually, let me give you kind of a size comparison here compared to the X-Max. Uh, what I thought when I got into the hobby was a big truck is now completely dwarfed by the X-Max. It looks like a baby toy. Um, it's not, but it looks like it. So, uh, the X-Max. First impressions are very, very good with this vehicle. I absolutely love the way that it handles. It's got a really wide stance. Um, the suspension is really amazing. So. I'm pushing on it pretty hard here and it doesn't really want to tip. So you can uh, hit speeds and corners. Uh, if you're on cement, it might grip enough uh, with the speed to flip over. But most of the time it seems planted enough to stay on four wheels or at least two and it digs in really well because of the suspension, the wide wheel base. It's got a lot of the weight pretty low and it sits down when you're really running it. So uh, I like that about it. The power in this thing is insane. It wants to stand up on full throttle. Uh, it'll actually go onto its lid if you're on cement. If you're in the dirt, it might not uh, flip all the way onto its lid over, but it, uh, you'll, you will get it to stand up straight because of the way that the bumper is in here. It'll kind of hit. Um, so I think a wheelie bar would be the one and only major upgrade I would actually look at for this. Maybe some kind of skid plate extras for the bottom. I'm not sure. I was trying to think about, somebody asked me what I would do for upgrades for this. Uh, and at this point I really don't know because I think it runs so well stock. Um, I don't really want to add too much weight from the metal parts. It's already a really heavy truck. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, other than bling kind of stuff uh, or maybe changing the stylings of the bumper if they come out with different options, that might be something I would do. The wheels, I think actually for stock, are pretty good. Um, they've got a lot of grip. Uh, they're pretty firm, and uh, but they're also soft at the same time. So uh, there's a, a nice sponge in here, a piece of foam. So it absorbs, but it doesn't completely fold over, which is really nice. Uh, what else about this truck? Well, the suspension, like I said, is really good. The top speed, that's one of the things people talk about a lot. That's one of the complaints. And one of the things I see people trying to do in a lot of the forums and videos is make it go faster. And for, the, for in my backyard, for hitting jumps, for at the BMX trails, uh, the top speed of this thing is actually pretty adequate and it feels fast in those kind of an environment. 
Um, and my backyard track, it felt perfect. I was able to get up the speed I needed for jumps and then hit the ground and take off again really quick, but then stop and corner and, and do everything that I needed to uh, really well with it. it. It handles really good. Actually, the transmitter, I'll point out, um, does a really great job. You know, it's pretty simple, uh, but it it works. I'll probably look at getting the Bluetooth module for this, the Traxxas Link. It's definitely a huge, huge, huge upgrade over their old top qualifier. This is the TQI, but this was the original one uh, from the Gravedigger. And uh, so this is a huge upgrade over these older ones, um, which I don't really use this one anymore. I've, I've actually converted away from it because I don't like the antenna on it. And uh, But yeah, I, I like this. I'm going to just keep using the stock res uh, receiver uh, transmitter with it. Uh, I was just thinking about something first first impressions and it slipped my mind. Um, I'll, I'll hopefully it'll come back to me because it was kind of one thing that I thought is something that I would probably oh I know what it was it had to do with the transmitter. The self-writing capability. I've kind of not had it work well so um, but I'm not too worried about that because I don't really want to tear up the top of the uh, the body with it rocking on it. So uh, you know that's not a big minus for me. I know some people like the idea of having it write itself, but when I would do it, it seemed like only two one side of the wheels were doing it, and the, I mean they were completely they looked like uh, you know a table saw blade just spinning because the 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 wheels were stretching so bad and it wasn't really rocking at all so I would just quickly stop it um, so that was I haven't actually ever done it once properly and I've tried about five or six times and it seemed like it just wasn't working so that's one kind of negative I guess but for me it's not uh, the TSM the Traxxas stability management uh, I think that's stability management but the TSM basically what it does is it helps you drive better mixed opinions on this from people. Some people hate the thought uh, of having assisted driving, especially in a racing scenario. And I guess I can understand some of that. But for driving this, uh, my first impressions and first vehicle that's had it, I think it's amazing. I absolutely love it. I know how to drive them. I don't feel like it's something that I need it to do, but I like that it's there because it definitely makes it easier when what I'm all I'm looking to do with this thing is line it up for a jump and I'm hitting some weird terrain on the way and the approach and uh, it helps get itself there and where I want it to go uh, to do what I want it to do and so that to me is a bonus that's a good thing I, I don't see that as a negative um, I'm not racing this it's basically for the pure enjoyment of running it and for that it's a really good experience um, the shocks, again, I've said I think are really good. The bumpers seem to do really well. Um, you know, they're big and beefy. They're definitely probably a break point if you hit something really hard. That's not a bad thing. Uh, so I said it's planted. So the shocks, you know, absorb and help keep it planted. But it also, in the air, it, it handles really well. And some of that, I'm not sure, it's probably the TSM helping with it, keeping it leveled and things like that. Uh, but overall, it just soars through the air really well. It handles landing really well. Um, very smooth, very soft, not a lot of rebound or bounce. And so it just soaks it up and it just keeps going. You hit the gas and you're, you're on, uh, you know, you're kicked back again and you're just pushing forward. So overall, my first impressions of this are really good. And they're only first impressions. I haven't had enough to really, I haven't had to take it all apart. Um, I haven't had to, uh, you know, fix anything, know what that's like. And so I'll do a, a much more in-depth review of this truck later. Uh, but for now, you know, people were wanting to know, what do you think of it? How's it handle? How's it run? I, I give it a lot of thumbs up. Top speed, like I said, is, is good uh, for some instances. For people that don't have jumps and it's pretty flat. They're going to want more, um, but other than that, the uh, the self latching or the single latch here for the body is an amazing thing. I was kind of questioning the look of it and all that in the uh, the unboxing video that I did, but it's actually it's really great. 
I'll just say that. It's so quick to get in here and change the batteries, um, to connect things, turn it off, all of that, because of how simple they've made it to attach this body. There's no body post sticking up, so having this little thing here isn't that big of a deal uh, to me. The one thing I do have a little bit of issue with, and it's not the truck's fault, it's my batteries, is that there's not really a way that my Venom 5050C batteries fit in here well. Uh, they're too short for the standard battery clip, but if you put the extension on, they're too tall and it won't close. And so I've had to actually stand mine upright, which they actually fit perfectly upright. It's just there's a lot of gap on the side here. And so uh, I just have to get some foam or something to put in there to keep them from moving around too much. But it's actually the perfect fit upright. It just slides a little bit. So I can fill that in and that'll be good to go. Again, that's not the truck's fault. That's just, you know, there's so many different battery manufacturers that make different sizes. Uh, the steering, very responsive. The servos, I think, does a great job. Um, I haven't had any problems with the ESC because they have the new one in here for me with the extra fuse link. And so, yeah, I mean, I think Traxxas is listening to their customers with this vehicle. Um, I've known people that have broken stuff in their first couple weeks before there were spare parts, and Traxxas has just sent them free ones. Um, to replace those and get it up and running again, which is really cool of them. It says to me they want it to succeed. About the price, people have asked or questioned the price of it, 800 bucks, they say seems steep. And 800 bucks is a lot of money. I'm gonna be the first one to say that. Uh, I don't typically have 800 bucks to spend on a truck. I started with the Grave Digger. Uh, I used, I'd gotten an award at work and there was some extra money involved with that that I put toward it. Um, everything else that I've bought has been about the $300 mark, even the plane and everything. So 800 bucks for me to drop into it, uh, stock out of the box is steep. And uh, I will give you that. However, an E-Revo costs about 750, 800 bucks maybe when they first came out. The Summit, same price range up in there. And so they put out this huge beast of a truck. It's like a fifth scale or sixth scale monster truck. Uh, depending on who you talk to, uh, I've seen both numbers thrown around, but um, they kept the price the same. I mean, we're talking bigger wheels. Most things in here have probably a higher cost in making them, uh, and yet they kept the price the same. Now, it does different things at 800 bucks than the E-Revo. The E-Revo is going to have higher top speed. It's going to do flips really easily and you know handle completely differently. But it's a different truck. Um, this would probably be closer to maybe the Summit, I would think. But again, it's different as far as the way that the shocks and everything are set up and the way that it runs. Uh, the brushless motor in this, I think, is great so far with a week of running in it. It seems to, to dish out the power. Uh, gearing is going to be a different thing as far as you know people wanting speed. But for what this truck was designed to do, it feels very adequate. So again, for 800 bucks, it's it's uh, I think it's about the right price, considering uh, there are vehicles that cost more that are fifth scale. Um, there are others that are not fifth scale that cost almost this much, and so I think they found kind of a, a nice spot to put it at. Again, the the most expensive vehicle I bought to this point was a low C10 SCTE that I paid about 500 bucks for. So this was definitely uh, tough for me to swallow. Uh, it was money that I was saving up for an RC four-wheel drive uh, beast, 6x6, six six, so I had that going. And then through some other RC stuff that I've done, I've kind of gotten some extra money in and income in uh, to put toward the hobby. And so I decided to put it towards getting the X-Max uh, on a whim and switched it. So I'm going to have to start saving again for the beast if that's what I want to get in the future. But overall, I'm really happy with this purchase because I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, the Beast was going to be, you know, fun in a different way. I think that overall I will get more use out of this um, on a daily basis than I probably would the Beast. And so that's the reason that I made the change. But again, guys, I know that at 800 bucks, this isn't in everybody's wheelhouse. It's not going to be something that everybody's going to own. But for those that are looking to spend some money and get something in this variety, in this larger scale, I think it's a, it's a well 
well worth the 800 bucks that you're gonna put into it. Uh, even when I look at some of the other trucks, how much people invest after they get it, they're probably getting close to this price as well. So anyway, that's kind of just the first impressions, guys. If I didn't answer some of your questions, maybe, I, I, I don't know, I'm just talking here, kind of being real about it. Um, if I forgot something or you, know, you want to know something else, uh, leave a comment below. I'll try and answer it in the comments. And, uh, and, but anyway, overall, I, you know, very good first impression with me uh, from the new Traxxas X-Max. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Have fun RCing, and we'll catch you next time.